Hey everybody, I'm Nathaniel Dodds from Tutvid.com. Welcome right into this Photoshop tutorial where today we're going to take a look at five quick tips and tricks that are going to help you use the pen tool a little bit more effectively. It's quick, it's easy, it's fast, and if you enjoy this tutorial, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn those notifications on so you never miss another video tutorial in the future. Let's jump in and check this thing out right now. All right, here we are in our happy place in Photoshop. Let's run through these pen tool tips right away. Number one. One of the most helpful things you can do before you even begin using the pen tool is to select the pen tool, look up there to the top tool control bar, and hit the little cogwheel icon, and just make sure you tick on the rubber band feature. This way you can see a preview of where your path will be before you ever click and commit a path and as you're drawing it. This becomes especially helpful as we make more and more complex curves and paths. Tip number two, when we start creating a shape or a path with a pen tool, it's a good idea to click to add a point, but before you release your mouse button, remember that you can drag out your first bezier handle and start the curving process even before you lay down a second point. This will allow you to get much smoother and more advanced curves in a much, much more easy way. Ah, number three, for the third tip, don't forget the power of the Alt or Option key as you're creating a path. When we create a curved path and we get to a point in the rooftop here, let's say, we need to make a straight line. We can use the Alt or Option key to retract the bezier handle from the side of the anchor point, which will give me the ability to create a straight line right off of a curved line. And also, because we created this path by clicking and dragging to help with that initial curve, we will have a funky curved effect as we close this path off. We probably don't want this. So hold the Alt or Option keys. We joined the anchor point to close our path, and we can click and drag to establish the curve heading into the anchor point as we wish it to be, instead of being at the mercy of that original Bezier handle. Number four, new to Photoshop CC 2018, Adobe has now made it possible to change the way your paths look to make it easier to see your path as you're drawing it. Let's go ahead and hit the cogwheel icon here and try changing the size to the smallest half pixel size and maybe even we can change the color too to something like green. You can see that this is a much thinner path than what I had a moment ago and the green helps make this fine path a little easier to see. We can open that little menu up again and change the size to the largest three pixel size and maybe set the color to yellow. I'll draw out a quick shape here to show off what it looks like and you can see how this ability to change both size and color it's incredibly helpful for making it easier to see what is happening with your paths and where they are at any given time. And number five, the last tip here, it's more of a practical thing. As you're drawing a shape, make sure you have your stroke set to nothing and also set your fill to nothing so you have absolutely nothing diluting your beautiful, clear, straight, or curved look at that path as you lay it down in your Photoshop document. So that's it for this one. See, I told you it'd be quick. If you enjoyed this tutorial, if you thought it brought you some value, well, consider supporting the channel and picking up a copy of my Photoshop retouching course. It's all about how to, well, you guessed it, retouch photos in Photoshop, and it helps support this channel and what we do here at tutvid.com. If you do that, mm, well, thanks so much for that. Uh, if you don't pick it up, well, there's plenty of free tutorials on the, on the uh, channel here, and you're more than welcome to check them out and enjoy them to your heart's delight. So for all of these uh, little tips and tricks and adjusting the path size and the alter option key, really in Photoshop while using the pen tool, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.